Hey guys, it's Simon Katz. Today I want to talk about rewarding yourself after you close a big deal or accomplish something in the business world, personal goals, or whatever it may be. So I made a promise to myself when my first company would go past one million dollars. Revenue. A million dollars isn't exactly a lot of money these days. That I would buy myself a very nice hard to get Rolex watch. And this was several years ago. I was finally able to push my first company past a million dollars in revenue. And guess what I did? I bought myself this very watch, which is a Rolex stainless steel Daytona white face dial. I'll do a review of this watch in a separate video if you're curious later down the line. So what are the advantages to rewarding yourself? You might be spending crazy amount of money that you could do something better with that money. Particularly my watch cost me $12,000 at the time. Today, of course, it's worth around $18,000 to $20,000 in the gray market. It's actually a good investment. In fact, Rolex to me is a very good watch investment. They'll hold up their value just like a house in a good location. But if you're going to reward yourself, you have to look at the whole point of why you're doing that. By buying yourself something very nice that you worked your butt off for means that you are gonna do this over and over again. It's the letter A grade in your course paper that you've studied your ass off for. It's something that you have to treat yourself for. Otherwise, the next mission, the next goal, or the next business deal will be just like all the other business deals and goals, and you will not remember it. You'll not strive for the next one because you want something greater. So when I bought my Rolex, this watch was not available anywhere, and you had to build a relationship with the boutique to even get in line to purchase this watch. Every Rolex dealership I went to had a waiting list which they said they stopped taking so what i did to get this watch after i surpassed my million dollars in annual sales i called every single potential rolex distributor personally off their website one by one by one by one until i got to one that was surprised i told them i'm from san francisco it was a uh, dealership called hyde park in phoenix arizona and they were really interested in talking with me so i told them if you do sell me this watch i'll fly down and I'll buy it then and there. Lo and behold, they had the watch. I actually had a limo pick me up. I flew first class there and back and I purchased this watch. They didn't, they couldn't understand who this person was coming in just to buy a watch or fly down to get a watch. It was abnormal to them. Now also having the Centurion American Express card kind of helped me get in the door a little bit because that's one of the lines I mentioned when I did call them. You have to reward yourself with something sweet because you'll remember that memory and that memory is associated with my business success and that's why I want my next goal to be something even greater so I could purchase a more greater or rewarding gift to myself a lot of people also get satisfaction in giving that gift to someone else and if you are in a business where you're doing really well you may get a satisfaction of buying someone something else as well and I've done that before for past employees and because I've seen how hard they work to achieve a certain goal and I rewarded them with a monetary object and hopefully to this day they remember that gift. I think a lot of people appreciate something materialistic that they've been working for and I encourage you guys to constantly strive to get to that next level but at the same time reward yourself when you get to every level because that will make that reward that much sweeter. Otherwise, what is the point? What's the point of making a million or two million or 10? It doesn't matter if you don't buy what you want or spend your money how you want or if you're not happy at the end of the day. Rewarding myself with small gifts raises my happiness level. Uh, sometimes big gifts raises my happiness level and sometimes I don't need a gift and I wanna see someone else smile. That's part of my team. So 
I hope you like this message on the importance of rewarding yourself for every successful win, whether it's a sale of a car, whether it's a good grade, whether it's something small. It doesn't have to be a $10,000 to $20,000 purchase or a million dollar purchase. It could be something small. If you worked your ass off for it and you've achieved it, go buy yourself some ice cream. So I hope that helped for you guys. I hope that gave you an opportunity to understand why the importance of rewarding yourself is something special, why it will take you to the next level because the next level higher is a better gift is a better reward and that's exceptionally important and you guys need to make sure you do that every single time anyway thanks for watching this is simon katz if you like this video go ahead subscribe hit the like button below comment as well on what you have rewarded yourself with i'd love to read these comments because for me it's just such a joy comment like and thanks for watching i appreciate it